Is, is it Zara? Zara? Yeah. How much would you give Zahid out of 10 as a partner? 11. 11? And you do the accounting? Um, I do, uh, I, well the reason I'm asking, it's very nice to see you all seem very happy. Um, I sort of wonder how happy I am, you know, I, I discover things about myself even now. I had, epiphany. I had an epiphany recently in a Starbucks. Are there any fans of Starbucks in? Who hates Starbucks? Yeah, I know, I know, I know, they don't pay their taxes, Romish, they don't pay their taxes. I can't believe you'd even mention them. That's why I drink there. That's what I drink there. I drink in Starbucks because I don't agree with the war on Syria, and I know that Starbucks aren't funding it because they're not funding anything. All right, so... <laughs> I was in a Starbucks, I had my epiphany in a Starbucks, and I tell you what, I was annoyed because I was at a shared table. I'm at a shared table, we have to sit with other people. It's unacceptable, isn't it, that we have to sit with other people, with strangers now. This is the thing that they do. They do it in restaurants as well, like Wagamamas. Who's been in a Wagamamas recently? Yeah, Wagamamas is a fucking shithole. It's a <laughs> shithole, right? And they get away with being a shithole because they tell you that's the way we do it at Wagamamas. That's the way we do it at Wagamamas. You go in there, can I, I went in there, can I have a table for two, please? There's no table for two at Wagamamas. It's shared table, you sit with straight. It's a restaurant where you don't get your own table, right? And God forbid you go there on your own, I went to eat there on my own. They sat me at a trough for loners by the window, right? <laughs> we sat there like puppy dogs at a rescue centre, just... <laughs> you not got any friends either? No, mate. <laughs> I could not believe it, man. See, Zara, when you go to a restaurant, you order your food, you eat your food, and then you go, right? That's how a restaurant's supposed to work. Not at Wagamama's. It might not work out like that, because at Wagamama's, they don't know when your food's going to be ready. I was at Wagamama's, I ordered my food, they said, just to let you know, at Wagamama's, the food might not arrive all at the same time. <laughs> at Wagamama's, the food arrives when it's ready. <laughs> Why? <laughs> What's the unknown variable here? Have you never cooked this shit before? <laughs> let me give you a little tip, Wagger, or tell your mama, whoever the fuck's got to find out about this. <laughs> Try and remember how long it took you to make it the last time you cooked it. Subtract that from the time that you would like it to be ready and then start cooking it then, you fucking mouth breather, because what I don't want... <laughs> what I don't want is to be having my star when this prick's having his dessert because you can't coordinate two meals. We're just supposed to sit there like, fingers crossed! <laughs> it's unbelievable, mate. I ordered my food, right? This is what happened. I ordered my food. The guy writes what I've ordered on my bit of paper. <laughs> I order it, he writes it down there. I'm not the one that needs a reminder, mate. <laughs> I think I can hold on to the information. Just make sure you got it on your notepad, knobhead. What the fuck do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> you're gonna come out and say, who ordered the tofu noodles? <laughs> fuck those. <laughs> I thought we'd ordered the cocktails. <laughs> Part of the problem I've got with Starbucks and Wagamamas and all these places, they've got too many choices. I think choice is bad. I think choice is bad. I think there should just be, like, two things in a restaurant. It just saves time. I've deliberately cut out my choices to become more efficient. I'm a vegan. It means that in a restaurant, there's only ever one option or two. Sometimes there's none. Imagine how much time I save. <laughs> Go in there. What's vegan? Nothing. All right, see you later, mate. Do you know what I mean? It's just so efficient. You don't often get a dessert option as a vegan. Because, as you know, desserts have all got dairy in. Very often, the only option you're given for a dessert is fruit salad. And as we know, fruit salad isn't a dessert. A fruit salad is a kick in the dick, right? <laughs> but I did get a genuine vegan option recently, right? Sorbet. I know. I thought, hello, everything's coming up Ranganathan. <laughs> I said to the waitress, get me some sorbet, sorbet me up, yeah? She said, what flavour would you like? I was like, why the shit would you do that, man? You've just made this more complicated. She said, well, what do you want, raspberry or lemon? And I'm thinking, this is a nightmare. Because if I have the raspberry, the whole time I'll be thinking, what if the lemon was better? Right? <laughs> and if I get the lemon, the whole time I'll be thinking, what if the raspberry is better? Now, it's got quiet in here. The reason is because you all think you found the solution, which is get one scoop of each dickhead. I understand <laughs> that's what you think. 
But that's the worst possible outcome. Because if I get one scoop of each, I'm definitely going to prefer one to the other. <laughs> and the whole time I'm eating the one I like less, I'll just be thinking, why didn't I get two scoops of the other one? <laughs> It's not just restaurants and cafes I find irritating. Cinema I find annoying. I go to the cinema on my own a lot. I do go with my children from time to time, but I find it very frustrating going with my children because they don't have a very discerning palate when it comes to watching films. They think everything's good, and I get frustrated that I can't talk to them about it. I went to watch Ice Age 4 with my son. It's a goddamn abomination, right? I'm sitting there watching it thinking, I can't wait to talk to him about it. We get out of the cinema, he goes to me, that was brilliant, wasn't it, Daddy? I'm like, I can't fucking talk to you, can I? <laughs> Bright colours, loud noises, you're impressed. It was shit, bruv. 